Y'all, I'm trying to drink tea. And I don't like tea. <laughs> but I want the caffeine from the tea. Like I want the energy from the tea. So I'm trying to drink green tea. I have like a little, a, <laughs> a very little amount. Very um, small cup of it. How do y'all drink this stuff? This is terrible. <laughs> this is so nasty. <laughs> I'm sipping it like, you know, like it's medicine. I'm like, I'm just trying to take it down, but. <sighs> Having some banana pancakes for breakfast. These are those two ingredient, just bananas and eggs, and I put cinnamon in mine. I make them small because they, they tend to be really kind of flimsy, but they are tasty. Use a little coconut oil. And a little tiny bit at a time. Now I'm just roasting a few pecans. I usually, well I shouldn't say usually, sometimes I put the pecans inside the banana egg mixture. Sometimes not. Um, this time I chose not to. I'm just going to put them on top and then I'm going to top it with some honey. Mm, there they are. They look delicious. Alright, there's the finished product with the pecans on top. Drizzle of honey and a little strawberry on the side. Yum, yum. Now for lunch, I'm gonna have a big salad and a sweet potato on the side. So I'm gonna start with just putting my sweet potato in the microwave and letting that cook while I get the salad prepared. And my salad's gonna be pretty simple, a big handful of Romaine lettuce, lots of spinach, a couple handfuls of that. And I just mix it all together. I'm going to add tuna. This is just the leftover tuna from the last can. And I'm pretty hungry today, and this is not quite enough. <laughs> So I'm going to open another can and I'll use about a third of this can and then just put the rest in the fridge for the next salad. Now we are all out of tomatoes. This is literally all we have left. So I'm just going to use what we have. I don't even know why we have this last little piece of the end. Why? We didn't just eat this when we ate the rest of the tomato, but I guess I'll be glad that I have at least a little bit. I'm gonna top it off with just a little sprinkle of Yes to Blend cheese. And that's it. That is my salad for the day. On the side, I'm gonna have a little bone broth. I have about four ounces here. And I like to season it up with just some, this is like my local store's harvest seasoning. There's just a little bit of every dried herb ever in there. So I just put a little of that in, shake it up, and then I'll warm it up before I drink it. Try to clear things away as I go. And on the side, I'm gonna have a little fruit salad. Some pineapple. I'm gonna add a few blueberries here. And then some strawberries. So I took out the potato and I cut it into four sections. I'll eat a fourth of it now, put the rest up for later. And all I do is sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon. And then for just a little added something something, have a few no sugar added bread and butter chips. These things are a 
addictive. And there are no calories, so I can eat as many as I want. So good. And that's it. Got my simple salad with tuna, my potato on the side. I'm going to drink this bone broth, and then my pickles, my fruit salad. And then this V8 plus energy just to give me a little pick-me-up through the afternoon. And of course, lots and lots of water. So for dinner, my family had spaghetti and meatballs. I decided to try spaghetti squash. Now, I've done this one other time and it was not so successful because I think I microwaved it too long when I was trying to get the skin soft. But this time, I just didn't even bother with the microwave. I just cut it. It took forever, but I made it happen. And now I'm just trying to get all the goo out. This was harder than I thought it would be. Like, I was confused about what was goo and what was actual spaghetti squash that I wanted to keep. So um, it took me a little while, but eventually I got the hang of it and I got them all cleaned out. Then I just put them on my baking sheet and I gave them a good coating of olive oil. Rub that in really good. And then I sprinkled them with just some salt. Nothing fancy here. Now once that's all done, I turned them upside down on the baking sheet and then I put them in the oven for 45 minutes at 400 degrees. Note the time on the oven guys, it's 9.08 and I'm just starting these squash and they're going to take 45 minutes to cook. Mama said there'd be days like this, right? And we're done. At almost 10 o'clock, <laughs> they are finally ready to come out of the oven. So now I just pull them apart from the sides and look, it worked. I was so pleased with them. They were delicious and filling and I didn't even really miss the regular noodles. So yeah, this was definitely a winner. So I had my spaghetti squash with some of the sauce and the meatball that my family ate and it was delicious. Yummy. And for a little something sweet, I had some sugar-free strawberry jello. Y'all, this is my new favorite thing. <laughs>